Hello there, children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun learning week. Yeah. Today, we will talk about a very important matter. Are you excited for our lesson? Do you know what is this? You are correct. This is a clock. And we will talk about this this time. You know how to read your time? And that is what you're going to learn today. I want you to get ready with any clock that you have there at home. Maybe a paper clock, a toy clock, or any old clock. Okay, let us begin now. What is a clock? Clock tells time. Everybody, can you say that? You say, clock tells time. So when you need to know what time is it, you need to go to the clock and that will tell you what time is it. Children, this is a clock in the picture and there are different parts of the clock. As you can see, this is the face of the clock. It got 12 numbers, 12 numbers and two major hands. The first hand is the short hand. This is what you call the short hand or the hour hand. The second hand that we have here is the long hand, which is also called the minute hand. Later, you will understand the importance of this. And now let's go back to this clock that I have here. When this long hand is at number 12, look at that. It's in number 12. You will say o'clock. Can you say it? Yes, it's o'clock. You will write it this way, dot, dot, zero, zero. Again, how do you say this? Yes, you say o'clock. And this reads by five. You will say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. But you call this 60 o'clock. Now, how about the short hand? The short hand being the hour hand tells of the number itself. So, you will read the number as to where it is pointed, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So if you would look at this clock, you will read first the shorthand before the longhand that says a clock. So for example, you will say 9 o'clock. Can you say it again? Yes. Say the shorthand first, the number in the shorthand, before the o'clock or that number 12. Now let us have more examples. Can you read the following time? Look at this. The shorthand is in number 1 and here being in number 12, all this would say o'clock, o'clock, o'clock because that's by hour. So let us read the shorthand first. So let's say 1 o'clock. Very good. Next, 2 o'clock. Great. How about the next one? Yes, that's 3 o'clock and this is how you write them. Next, let's have... 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Great! Okay, let's have more exercises. Okay, how about that time? Yes, you are correct again. That's 7 o'clock. Next, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 12 o'clock. Wow, great time reading, kids. Now, let us go to another kind of time. What if your long hand is in number six? The same with a short hand, you are going to read the number as to where the short hand is being pointed first. But in this case, when the long hand is in number six, the short hand now is in the middle of two numbers. So what number are you going to read in this case? You are going to read this number before the other number. So don't read this number as to where the short hand doesn't reach yet. Okay, so you will read 
this number 10, not the 11. And when it's in number 6, you will always say 30. Okay, that's 30. And here, you got 10 in this. Now, let us have more exercises. So, let's have this one. The shorthand is in the middle of 1 and 2. So what will you read? Is it 1 or 2? What did I tell you? You cannot read 2 yet because it didn't reach the 2. But it is just the number 1. So you will say 1, 30 since it is in 6. So you will say 1, 30. Very good. How about this one? Between 3 and 4? Yes, it's 3, 30. How about... The next one. Correct! It's 10.30. How about the next clock? It's, yes, 4.30. How about that one? Hmm, yes, it's 2.30. And the last one we got here, 12.30. Great job! You now know how to read time by hour and by half. Remember hour. that if you have the clock, it takes one complete turn of this minute hand before you reach one hour. Look at that. The short hand changed. Okay, if I will make another turn, that has changed again. Because one complete 60 minutes would make one hour. And Look at this. If I'll put it in the middle, if it's in 30, look at the shorthand. It's now in the middle of two numbers because it's almost going here, but it's after here. It is past this number two already. So now, let me see if you did get what I've taught you today. I have here clocks. I want you to tell me what time is being shown. What time is it? Correct. It's 4 o'clock. How about the next clock? Yes, it's 6 o'clock. How about the next clock? The short hand is in 1. The long hand is in 12. How would you say it? Yes, it's 1 o'clock. How about the next one? It's 10 o'clock. Great one. How about by half hour? I have here clocks that has half hour time. What time is that? Is it 7.30 or 8.30? Correct, it's 7.30. How about the next clock? Is it 1.30 or 2.30? Yes, it's 1.30. How about the next clock? Is that 8.30 or 9.30? It's 9.30. How about the next clock? Is it 11.30 or 12.30? You're correct again. It's 11.30. Children, I am so happy all of you did a great job. Wonderful time reading, kids. Always remember, that if you need to know what time is it, you need to read the clock. The hands of the clock will tell you what time is it. Always remember, kids, that time is so precious. Don't waste it. You always do good at all times. I hope that you had learned something today. Happy time reading! Bye! Thank you!